Hey YouTube, Doug Wallman. It's still a snow day. This is part two, because it's, you know, what to do during a snow day. Probably renamed the video with a slightly different nuance, but that's okay. Um, so I have packages from Amazon I've been opening, but I've only been featuring one at a time. And I may not get to the others till later. The other one I used in my last video, I didn't even make mention of, but I was actually um, connecting my iPhone to a hard drive and to my microphone, but I noticed there was a 60 hertz hum in there um, when I had my lavalier anyway. Uh, but this time we're going to be opening up a box from Amazon. I want to call it the Watchdog Lighting Kit, but that's not right. It's the Mount Dog Lighting Kit from Amazon. I, you might be able to get it on eBay or other places too. Mount Dog Softbox Lighting Kit, Photography Studio Light, and it has the dimensions, it has a reflector, three colors, temperature, 45 watt bulb with remote, professional photo studio equipment for portrait video. Yay. So what I have right now, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Yang Nua or something like that. I have a video of that too if you want to look for it. It does me pretty good. It also is very budget friendly. They're both going to be in the budget friendly category. Um, but this one seems to be way bigger and I think it might project a little more soft light. This is trying to, I, I bought a cover for it, but I lost the, well I didn't lose the honeycomb, but I, I can't get it back in there. But it still has like a diffuser over the top. I have a little bit of ambient light coming from that direction from my patio door, but I did try to block it off with some room dividers. Um, you can still see someone casting some light on the back wall, which is actually kind of cool. And I have a little light here. I, I stretched some diffuser stuff over it. Um, now I lost that. Let me put that back on real quick. But that's just a lamp that I kind of have in a dim mode, I think, kind of vaguely connecting it over this direction um, for some. So I'm filling in a little bit on this side of my face. I'm trying to learn about lighting. Then I have one above me, too. And it still looks probably like crap, but maybe a little better with some effort than it would if I made no effort, right? So anyway, I'm going to get to unboxing that. Um, for most of it, it'll probably will just be a time lapse, but we'll maybe share some of the moments of me opening that in the next section coming up next. And I lost comms with my iPhone because I was messing around with the iPhone. And when I do that, I lose comms with my camera. So here's my backup. I thought I better add, yes, that natural lighting is good. I'm just blocking off a little bit of it because... We want to kind of feature what the studio lights can do if we dare call them studio lights. I think they are. That's a good name for them. But anyway, on to the next part of the video. The unboxing. And I'll insert a photo right here of me filling up with gas yesterday. It's just a photo, but it'll probably be my thumbnail because it kind of matches the... Uh, the expectation, I guess, even though most of this is going to be uh, about my studio lights. Well, it's like, like, what do you do during a snow day? Well, you open boxes from Amazon, right? Shows what it features, softbox, a T27 bulb holder, photography light bulbs, so it's different Kelvin scale ratings or whatever, color temperature um, from 2800 to 5700K Kelvin. 
of stand. It includes a bunch of stuff, let's put it that way. the magic of it right there. The remote. And I take it this box here is that's going to be your stand. Let's just do a time lapse and the rest you'll see uh, in fast motion. Still on my iPhone, what you're seeing here. Just a quick reference. I didn't want to do anything crazy. The exposure is not even locked on it. So even if I made changes, I'm thinking if I made changes in dimness, brightness, iPhone's just going to compensate for it. But I'd probably set it about there. Even with color temperature, it's probably going to compensate. I know there's uh, white balance lock and all that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. It might show a little bit of difference if I go to section. I think it disregards my brightness when I go to what's called section on here. But that's like a warmer tone. Um, that's back to white. And that is obviously more of a cold tone. It's kind of bluish. I'm not sure how much of this is going to show up because um, I don't have it really set up correctly but just quick reference you know i got the young gua for kind of filling in this side a little bit but i didn't even want anything too detailed just a quick reference that's how it looks i have an overhead light all right so i don't know if i turned them both off i can't even turn this one off <laughs> That's weird. So now the Ango is off. That's off. So that's, that's what you got. I'm sure it could actually fill me up pretty good. I thought it could get brighter than that. I was pretty sure it could. But... I'm still learning, still experimenting. There's something called a nightlight. That's like that. That's kind of cool. I think right there it appears that's as bright as it gets, I think. Unless there's a way to combine different color tones or something. I don't know, but let's get on with the DSLR because... I'm still kind of new with filming on the iPhone. And I do know there's some tricks, but right now, honestly, quick reference, quick reference. Oh yeah, I'm still on the iPhone because I noticed that the uh, night light was pretty cool. And I still have the Angoa kind of as dim as it can get. And yes, I can control that. I just had to kind of take a second look at it. Now it's off. 
I keep bumping it though and it turns back on. On. Off. The overhead light's on. So if I just wanted to, I could have have it super moody like this. But I think a little bit of ambient lights from different directions is probably suitable, but I can always change my mind. Too many remotes. <laughs> I just touched that thing and it turned on. Wow. Okay, so there we have it. Now to the DSLR. All right, so this is a DSLR. Yeah, this doesn't how I would do it. I could increase the ISO, like 6400. No, that's wait, that's not 6400. That's 6400, but that's not right. Uh, let's just put it back where it was. Where was it? Something like, I think it was somewhere in there. But, uh, yeah, that's not right. So, the nightlight worked great with the iPhone, I thought. Unless it was grainy and I couldn't tell. But, what the, we'll just make it stronger. I don't know. Well, that's definitely not right. I don't know, we'll just have to experiment, but yeah. Am I on a white? Oh, I think the white balance might be jacked up. Hold on. No? It's custom white balance still. Obviously, it's going to be different than it was. <laughs> Hold on. Honestly, guys, I haven't been able to dial it into my liking, but I'm going to have plenty of time to shoot videos. So, yes, this is a DSLR. What do I have it on uh, for white balance? I don't recall. Oh, it's custom white balance. I tried the sheet of paper thing. Seems like this is too dim here. Guys, I, can't, I don't seem to be able to dial it quite in how I would like it, but this would work. Um, maybe there actually needs to be more warmth in my face. So let me see if I can do the Kelvin scale. This is 3600 Kelvin. Uh, maybe we'll try something a little bit higher. All right, that's 4,000 Kelvin. I did increase that side light there a little bit. I don't know. I don't have it dialed in the way I want, but it is dialed in pretty good for what it is. It's probably just more actual quality versus a bunch of fancy effects or something. It is a DSLR. I'm sure there's a way to dial it in more moody-like. I mean, it is moody, but it could be even more moody, I suppose. But I'm not going to take any more time with this video. This is what it looks like. Um, I, even, I keep wanting to say the dog watch. It's not that. It's the uh, Mount Dog Softbox light. It's what we're looking at right now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm just navigating between my apps here. I am <laughs> I'm monitoring what I look like here on my iPhone. So... Before I was using my iPhone to actually video with, video with, well, I didn't say videotape at least, <laughs> to re video record with, and now I'm using this to monitor. So I think it looks pretty good. It just doesn't have quite the vibe I would go for. But, you know, I could lower the light on that side if I wanted to. But then it makes my face look kind of weird when I do that unless I just compensate with ISO but I don't know if that's gonna matter a whole lot 
that's too much probably it's kind of the same difference we just turned it down the light and turned up the ISO so I don't know I don't know it is diffused quite well probably another thing is how far I have it away from me that would make a difference too well, that's as bright as that goes I think so something like that well guys I have other things to do <laughs> I love doing this I tried I really tried hard to dial it in but this is what it is for right now and I don't have the expo disc I don't know where it went I'll find it but that would help with the white balance too so I think what did I say 4000 Kelvin or something like that is what I have at right now I kind of went from 32 ish 31 all the way up to 4000 first I was trying to get rid of like all the orange in my face I'm like wait a minute I want some of that back uh anyway thanks for watching I think it's a I think it's a good light I'm just gonna have to take some time to uh get acquainted with it acquainted with it get it all dialed in as I practice doing videos do the real thing and upload it and go ooh, oh yeah that looks pretty good or that's what I'm gonna do so I don't I'm not sure if I should say uh, let me know what you think or not but what do you think I think it's better than it was before for sure so with that I'll let you go and peace out